Okay. Uh, let's go through the items. 25 Conejo Road. Any comments, changes, corrections? 324 Sherman Road. Comments or corrections? Item 3, 133 West Mountain Drive. Item 4, 1302 San Miguel Avenue. Item 5, 240 Eucalyptus Hill Drive. Nineteen twelve Mission Ridge Road. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Item seven two fifty one La Marina Drive. Uh, I'd like to go back to item uh, item six, 1912 Mission Ridge Road. Uh, could we add at the uh, at the uh, note where it says a letter was expressed concern submitted by Trevor Martinson? Uh, could you also add to that note that the letter wasn't submitted until the beginning of the meeting, and that the chair allowed uh, 20 minutes for review by the board members? Please. Anyone object to that? Okay. All right. Any other comments, corrections? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Abstentions? So carried. I'm abstaining. Okay. Uh, let's go to the consent agenda for June twenty second. Okay, thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, single Family Design Board consent calendar minutes for Monday, June 22nd are as follows. Item A, 1826 East Las Tunas Road um, received approval of the review after final as submitted. Item B, 947 Carrillo Road. This project received final approval with conditions as noted. Item C, 1510 La Vista de Oceano Drive. This project received project design approval and final approval uh, with the NPO uh, findings. Items D190 Cedar Lane. This item was continued indefinitely to consent. Items A through D were reviewed by um, Chair Sweeney and Board Member Pierce. Okay, thank you. Any uh, comments, changes? Okay, hearing none, uh, Chair calls for a motion. I have a second. Okay. Any further discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Oops. Opposed? Abstentions? So carried. Let's go to uh, consent calendar for this morning, June 29th. Okay. Uh, consent calendar for June 29th, item A, 1570 La Vista de Oceano Drive. Uh, this project received approval of the review after final as submitted. Item B, 325 El Monte Drive. This project uh, received final approval as submitted. And item C, 302 Piedmont Road. This project received project design approval with the NPO findings and final approval. Um, items A through C were reviewed by Chair Sweeney and Member Woolery. Okay, thank you. Do I have a motion for approval? So moved. Do I have a second? I'll second. Any further discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Abstention? So carried. Okay. Uh, Mr. Ng, do you have any announcements? Um, Member Pierce will be absent from today's meeting. And also uh, beginning next week at consent calendar, we have uh, Board Member Moticia and Woolery um, attending the reviewing projects at that meeting. Okay. Thank you. Uh, could we have roll call, please? Chair Sweeney. Here. Vice Chair Miller. Here. Board Member Bernstein. Here. Board Member Moticia. 
Here. Board Member Woolery. Here. Board Member James. Here. And Board Member Pierce. Okay. And I'd you. like to make an announcement. Oh, um, yes. We're coming close to the 700 ethics um, oh, training that we need everyone to do. Um, it's due, I believe, July 1st. Um, and it needs to be done two hours. So if you finish early, just leave your computer, come back two hours later, or you'll have to retake it. You okay. can't actually do that, though it logs you out. Does it really? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So you really, so do, maybe you you really do you have really to spend have the two <laughs> hours. Yeah. So take your time. Uh -huh. yeah. You really have to do the two hours. And if you finish early, they will give you a bonus Right. Question. I know. Okay. Really, it's good, really okay. good yes. stuff, though. It really is. So sorry. It'll give you a bonus question. Okay. Mine in. Any, <laughs> any other announcements? Mm -hmm. You have to print it out. Yeah, you do have to print it out. You have to sign it, and you have to either mail it or hand deliver it to the clerk's office by Wednesday. By Wednesday? Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. Two hours. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Okay, other questions, announcements, any further comments? Okay. And let's go to item number one, 1417 San Miguel Avenue, please. Um, this project was reviewed uh, at consent calendar and uh, essentially as it will be presented, it's a deck in the rear yard of the property. Uh, we reviewed it at, uh, at uh, consent, and we were a little hesitant about approving a uh, deck that was within the 15 feet of the guidelines and its location, so um, we thought it should come to the whole board. So, if you could introduce yourselves, please. Mr. Chairman, my name is Don Swan. I'm a designer of the project. And Hi, my name is Mike Goff, the owner. Thank you. There we go. Um, Mr. Chair, I just wanted to point out something that uh, our part of our presentation is based on a letter that we created and some, some diagrams to explain our the situation. And I have a copy of the letter for most of the board. And this is, this is Mr. Copies of it. Um, Basically, uh, and of course it's, as you had noted on another project that it, we're uh, submitting it at the time and you don't have a chance to read it, so we're, part of our presentation is based upon the, uh, the information that's in the letter. Okay. okay. <clears throat> okay, basically the, uh, the background of the house is that the our house was built in 1955, and, and uh, it, it consists of a, a single-family dwelling that is, uh, the main floor is, is entrance, enters on the street level, uh, at the level of the street. And it, at one time in 1959, they converted the original garage at uh, the rear to a residential room and uh, built a a new, a further, a existing to a new car garage at, the, at that time at the rear of the property. Uh, it has a, uh, a large patio area that is below, below the residence, uh, about six feet lower than the residence with a garden area be, beyond that. The, uh, um, the adjacent neighbor, oh, our, as, our, as we're proposing, is that the uh, the deck is adjacent to the to the end of the uh, the residence and behind, located at the rear, towards the ocean view, of course. And uh, we have shown it's a six foot six foot six setback from the property line, and uh, uh, the existing conditions of the neighbor is that uh, it was built in 1978. And it's set 12 feet back from the property line and extends another 28 feet behind the rear of our property, southward to the property, and it has a 12 foot by 25, 25 foot deck on the rear of it. Um, when, when, of course, when this house was built, it, it was 1978, probably uh, it didn't have the design, there wasn't any design review required because in our house we have a situation where 
There's corner windows in the back of the dining room that were that were in this rear area that were that are blocked from the from the existing house. And of course, the deck is within the, the 15 feet uh, uh, setback that is suggested. So, uh, and uh, so our deck is uh, so the existing property next door. This shows the the adjacent um, structure, the neighboring uh, neighboring house that is adjacent to our dining room area. These, these were taken out the dining room window, this window here. Presently, we have a, uh, a, pa a patio area that is lower, at the lower level where the recreation room is, there's a, a patio area that is uh, within 19 feet of the, the neighbor's uh, deck. We have a mature avocado tree in the rear yard at this present spot. And this this kind of indicates what the visual impact from the neighbor's deck to our, our living area down below. It also shows that this is the windows that are on the neighboring structure and how they are exposed to from our, our window. And that I didn't bother showing how these windows look at the deck also, so it looks at the whole patio level. And we should kind of show that this is the different level between the two structures. And the distance probably would, if somebody would be next to each other. There's a light lot of them, that's the position of our new deck, if you can see that lightly. And when we, uh, and when we came to the, <coughs> the uh, consent board, uh, the suggestion was to move the structure back away from the property line, and uh, we uh, took it upon ourselves to, to see what would happen if we did so. And this shows where, if we brought the, the deck farther away from the property line, uh, I was limited. We had a little discussion uh, with Ch Mr. Chair on, the, on that about the distance I can get to within 13 feet of the property line because if we had to, if we could put a sliding glass door where the old door is, that I need that space to, to get a door there and, and without remodeling the kitchen. <clears throat> and what happens is that we, we have to take half, the, almost half the tree away and this shows that the tree would have to be this whole lower branch here would have to be taken off because of the way the branches go outside and where it would clear the distances to the to the uh, to the uh, new new location. <coughs> this is layout quarter scale of where the new new deck would be, and what it, it rest restricts our. For example, we, we would have to have a stairway here. There's not enough room between it and the recreation room to get a stairway down that wouldn't interfere with the tree. So if we can find, we'd do the same kind of stairway that we proposed. We still have, we have no access to get to the recreation room this way. So, and then there shows the tree being amputated. And then also uh, it shows that the, the other part of the, the existing deck that is there or the patio that's there below becomes wasted space and it's shifted everything so far over that we we really lost any of the integrity of what we're trying to do as far as to get our view and and save the tree that saves the view to the west and and so on and this shows what a sliding desk or what need, would need to be done there so then we just thought we will we return to what we had our design before and that we <clears throat> proposed is the fact that back to the line, it reduces the, the impact of our exposure to our neighbor. And our proposal is to close off our corner window because we're gonna put a sliding glass door in the, in the deck area and then have a privacy wall on the eastern side of the, of the deck in order to give us privacy from the neighbor and give them give, 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 give privacy from us. 
and uh, and just the, the summary of the of the areas is that the uh, that where originally we had a, a 20 foot originally we had a 19 to 20 foot visual impact from the deck to our patio we have a 20 foot visual to our new deck and that if we move the deck over I can only get another additional seven feet for for the uh, the distance and it causes all the other dilemmas in between so basically we feel that by doing this uh, we are saving the integrity of the, of the, of the rear yard and trying to work with the neighbor as far as make sure that our privacies are, are protected and then another thought would be to provide a, a visual hedge for each other from Along the property, li along the east property line between the two two decks. Do you want to show us the proposal? Oh, sure. So this again back to our original design of the the deck in this area. We're putting a, a <coughs> sliding. Uh, Closing off the corner windows, providing a sliding glass door out to the deck, and it saves our kitchen the way we want it, and it gives our our living area access to the to the deck at the level of the house, rather than having to go down to the lower deck each time to barbecue or whatever, and it still keeps us away from from the neighbor. Structure-wise, we are the intent of is that we're we're totally building the structure beyond the, the house because if we attach it to the house, the house becomes part of the of the engineering and will require much more engineering as far as the structure itself. So it's, it's designed to hold itself up and only thing, only flashing is, is what between the, uh, the structure and the uh, and the, uh, the existing roof. And then we're going to re-roof it so that's to, to match all the existing. Um, we're still to to, hard, to support it. We're going to still require that we have the diagonal bracing underneath. We leave the existing patio, the concrete patio, uh, use it for storage, and uh, uh, <clears throat> have the diagonal bracing at the underfloor level just to to give it the uh, the, uh, the strength to withstand itself. Uh, the uh, we don't we're we're not really want to uh, shield the underfloor area. Uh, because it just uh, it just becomes a, an area that um, little animals can nest in, and we thought we keep it as clean as we can and, uh, and keep it uh, as to, to the existing like the existing backyard is now. Okay, okay. that's it. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, before we go to questions from the board, comments from the board, is anyone in the audience wishing to address this project? Do we have any letters, Mr. Ang? Uh, no, we do not. Okay. Having uh, no public comment, letters, the chair will close the public comment and bring it back to the board for questions. Uh, yes, Mr. Chair, these yes. windows of the adjacent neighbor on the, uh, yeah. on the yes. east side, yeah, those windows, are those bedroom windows? Uh, I don't know. I, no, yeah. these are, there are three bedrooms downstairs for yes. the kids, the master's on the other side. There's one more. There's a there's stairway a, window over here. There's a fixed window. Oh, sorry. Let me see that first one. Oh, you, you have the other pictures? I've actually been in that part of the house. Not sure what those are. They look like. When I talked to the neighbor, their concern was the stairway. Isn't it the other here. neighbor's side? This, this is a fixed window here. Is that where the stairway is? Yeah, yeah. that looks like the stairway. the stairway. I'm just wondering what these rooms are. They Go those. Right now, right now they look right at our dining room window. Yeah, but you don't know what are those bedrooms. You don't know what those. The the kids have three bedrooms downstairs. Yeah. I'm not sure. I haven't been right. master bedroom. Other questions? The privacy wall is it? It's only going to be along the bottom of it is the floor of the deck. Right. 
it will be. No. In other words, it's a it's a complete wall. So yeah, well, what it's about six and a half feet on this drawing from the top of the deck. What what I have shown is a six and a half feet high wall, and at, at first I wanted to make it so that there would be some some ventilation that would travel through it, but. If we have to go up higher, we're, we're willing to do that if we had to, but we, the idea was to at least keep the visual impact from the neighbors away from what would happen on that deck. And if we're, we're to soundproof it, that's another different story, you know. Mr. Chair? Yes, ma'am. I have a few questions. You yes. started the, um, am I on? Because <laughs> yeah, I don't know. You started to answer one of the questions, which was you talked to the neighbor, and I was just wanting to know if they had, a, you know, liked what you were proposing or. The concern was, is it, am I going to uh, shadow his stairway uh, window? And so when we took pictures of it, it actually, the concern was the shadowing of a stairway window with the uh, covered roof there. He understood all the privacy and like that. And so as we uh, were looking at the sun, is actually his awning overhang shades his own window till about 4.30 in the afternoon. Actually, I have some pictures here. Yeah, this is a uh, 6.30, in the evening. And this is at uh, 414. So what are we looking at here? Um, so this is the shadow of the existing house. And you see how the my, my current chimney is shadowing uh, the one window, but the window to the right is the uh, stairway window he's concerned mm -hmm. about. And then the it looks like it's getting more shading from his eave. And then at 6.30, if I drew a horizontal across from the peak, I think our new roof addition is lower than the peak, it would just be under his window at 6.30. That was as of yesterday. OK, I have a couple of other questions. I think um, for the architect, so the covering is made out of what? The roof? Mm -hmm. uh, the, as the house? Okay. It's, it's a shingle. regular roof with shingles. Yes. With, sure. Sure. So, and, and what is the size of the deck? Uh, 14, 14 by 18. 14 by 18. 262 okay. square feet. Yeah, I know I saw that. I was just trying to visualize the dimensions. Okay, I said it. Thank you. Okay, other questions? So this project uh, is here for any uh, approvals or further instructions, comments, et cetera. Um, so you can formulate uh, any opinion you'd like. So who'd like to start with comments? <laughs> All right, I'll start. I didn't, uh, I, it's one of these things where I, it's a really, I think, a good design for a deck, but um, how it impacts the neighbor and how you kind of create a tunnel situation with the deck, but I understand the privacy screen. Um, I can't, I haven't formulated a t an opinion. I think I'm kind of going in the direction that it might, I might approve it if the deck was maybe 15 feet as opposed to 18 feet, so it pulls it back a little bit. Um, but I think it's a good design and I think it, it's a, it's it's very compatible with ex existing architecture, uh, but that those are my comments. Okay, other comments. Good. Excuse me. Hold Let's on. Let yeah. the board finish their comments, please. <coughs> comments. Really, yes, Mr. Denise. Chair. Well, I think it's one of those unfortunate situations where the neighbor's house just all the windows are looking down on this one, and mm -hmm. I don't see anything they can do really. I mean, to to unless they put this deck over the garage. Uh, in a whole different place, but that doesn't help with having it be an extension of the living area. So I understand that. Um, I too think it might be a little more um, agreeable if it were not sticking so far out from the house, if it was a little smaller in that dimension. Um, that's 
I don't know what you say about it. I like the deck. Um, I don't see any reason why you can't have a deck as long as you want to have it, as long as it doesn't impact anybody. Uh, uh, may I ask a question? The neighbors aren't totally... Uh, I don't think you're on at all. It says on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do I have batteries? Maybe it was me. I don't think I was on. <laughs> yes, it was. Um, it's in the back of the back of the property. About four foot longer than whatever I think. So I don't think it's wrong with that. Um, and it's, I mean, you want it up high so it so it makes use of the of the living area off the house. Um, I don't see anything wrong with it. It's fine. Other comments? Um, yeah. I think uh, I could support the design um, and that the privacy wall is probably a good solution to the situation there. And um, I don't know, maybe you could make it a little smaller, but. Really, I mean, this person, the next door neighbor's deck doesn't even start for five more feet beyond where this one ends. So, anyway, I could support it. I think. I don't think that. Um, uh, I think this board has a has a uh, habit of making recommendations based on what what we want rather than what the what the neighbors want, and if there's no objection to the. I mean, even having a privacy wall, um, designers put privacy wall privacy walls in to maybe um, get things passed rather than whether the neighbor when uh, the neighbor doesn't want a privacy wall and don't and you're not looking and if you know each other and you don't care if, if people look you know, at a house next door it's fine. Uh, I don't see any reason to have a uh, if you want the privacy wall. Granted, let's put it in, but... Uh, and another good point, and I didn't notice it, is the next door neighbor has a deck, too. Yeah. So you, they have a deck here. Looking, I mean, you're looking at each other. So... So what? I mean, it's not, a, it's not the board con concern that two neighbors happen to look at each other. <laughs> Sometimes it is. Are there, are there comments? I was just wondering, so if... If the board basically thinks that this is pretty close to meeting our guidelines, which it sounds like most of us are, what, how much smaller does the deck need to get? Where, what size does the deck need to be in order to conform with our setbacks and being far enough from, or does it already? Yeah. That it's already acceptable in that regard? <laughs> Well, it's never going to conform to the to the 15 feet off. You know, it, it would have to go in a. It'd be a long tunnel of a deck yeah. if, if he if he got it 15 feet so from the property line. Let's see how many feet it is. Ne the way it's it six, is. Six point five feet away from property line right now. Okay. Here's 15 feet. 15 feet is back where the end. Back in here. That's 15 feet. Yeah. So it's just. Yeah, yeah I mean, wouldn't couldn't be in that spot if. if yeah, I don't. I don't, I don't think that works. I, I no. agree with you. Um, no, it so what compromise can you, or? Well, I don't see any other thing they can do, to tell you the truth, unless it went in a completely different location. And that's, for it to be, you know, what the, what the applicant wants, which is more living area off the living room, some outside area that's right off the living space, I just don't see how else they, they can pull that off, other than with this design. And the criteria, too, of of neighborhood compatibility, you bring up the point about it being in the back of the house. So, and the deck next door does not comply either, by the right, way. Right, exactly, exactly. To so, the 15 feet, so with their deck. So, I guess my question with the board is, I suggested maybe if anything, it gets shrunk back this way so it's not so long, just so it doesn't have so mm -hmm. much of a tunnel effect. But, uh, and if we were going to do that, how much shrinking are we talking well, it's about? It's 18 now. We thought 15 would I be. 15. So then it would be 15 by 14. Mm -hmm. did, you make it, did you make it 18 feet for a reason? We literally made it so the existing concrete patio would just be covered. But yeah, would, so how far is the base of it off the, off the existing concrete patio? 
No, it's uh, right on it. Four feet? It's, it's five feet? Six. Six. Six feet up. Yeah. To your, to your the current. The basically current. They have six feet of, of, of wasted space underneath that. Underneath. Or storage. Well, it's going to be storage because it's open. Right. You're going to, you're going to put, shove furniture, lawn furniture and stuff underneath. Exactly. There. Bikes and stuff. So yeah. I think my recommendation is it's 15 feet. Okay. Other I still, comments? I still, I, I still let the, the neighbors have what the designer have what he wants. The property one? Yeah. No, no, no. From the, between three feet, 18 and 15. Can, hmm. other, other comments? Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to weigh in. Um, I don't think in this particular case the 15 or 18 feet makes them big difference. One, because this is already an existing balcony. Right. That's what we're looking at right there. Mm -hmm. uh, but I am, I am concerned about a couple of things. One is the location of the staircase and uh, the fact that this is completely covered. And one of the, one of the things I always have to look at, uh, and I appreciate Mr. Patisha's comments about neighbors, but when things get built, they're going to last a lot longer than the neighbors that are in these houses, probably. And, and so I always try to look at the long view of what are future owners of these two properties going to deal with. And, and is that the competitive neighborhood compatibility issue? So on the one hand, we have seen a lot of decks, particularly in this neighborhood, which in the... In the Mesa, Marine Terrace, whatever that area is called, we, we do get a lot of requests for decks. And if you drive around the neighborhood or walk around the neighborhood, as I've done, you see a lot of decks. The morning I was there looking at this, the owner was actually talking with the neighbors up on this deck. So I know they've been talking. Um, so I'm concerned that if we find that this is acceptable, that in your motion, you really need to be specific that this is unique to this particular case. Because yeah. we're going to have somebody else walk in and say, well, you just approved their deck. Why can't you approve my deck? Um, so I think one needs to be fairly careful about uh, if, if the board chooses to approve as it's submitted, um, be careful about how you do that. But in, in relationship to the staircase, given that the there's two things that, that bother me about the design. The location of the staircase and the fact that the whole thing's covered. The whole thing's covered, and for some future owner, somebody could enclose that, and voila, we have another room. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm a little concerned about the whole deck being covered, given the fact this one's open and many of the other decks we review are open. Um, and I think if the purpose of the deck is to enjoy the view to the ocean, which this house has and this deck will have, that the staircase is in the wrong place. I think the staircase could come down this side and come in that direction. So landing here, staircase steps down here. They can still get access to the bottom of the underside of the deck through this front. I think the, the staircase is in the wrong place. Uh, if the real intent is to enjoy, uh, enjoy the, the view. So I would only be supportive two things. One is if the staircase is relocated, and if the covering is moved back. Uh, the size of the deck is probably okay, but I think to have it all covered is, in my book, not acceptable. So uh, that would be my thought. I may be in the minority on that, but um, we'll see how a motion uh, comes out. Any other comments? Yes, yes. Mr. Chair. Yes. Go ahead. Ooh. I do. I have a comment. Uh, well, I'll just jump in. Sure. So I'm just, it reminded me, and I was going to bring that up, so I wanted to elaborate that when this whole FAR thing came up, way at the beginning of when the guidelines were getting developed, this idea of covering something, you know, and then having possibly down the road you could just put some windows in and a couple, you know, it's like almost a room if somebody decided they wanted to make a room and we talked about that a lot and and I think we have to compromise here so that the guidelines are met and the owner can get some kind of a deck that works for them but I think Fred has a really good point. Um, the other angle is that you're actually increasing privacy by the fact that you're removing a window and putting this privacy screen. So you're actually increasing privacy in terms of your neighbor. I, that's Correct. Right. 
angle of looking at it, as, whereas typically the 15-foot rule is to uh, in, ensure privacy. And in this case, I think you are actually doing it in this particular uh, parameter. Currently, our blinds in the dining room stay just closed 100% of the time. Oh, Mr. Chair, I have yeah. actually another yeah. question. Um, yes. I, I heard you mention that this uh, structure is not attached to the house, but according to the, the west and east, mm -hmm. uh, the roof is. It looks like an extension of the, ac of the, the, yeah. the roof. The structure is going to be held alone. It will be by itself. It will be attached by, to the shingled roofing by sheet metal. In other words, the structure, we have a cantilevered ridge board, and we've designed it so that... So this piece is going to be cantilevered, so and, in theory it floats and, over the And all the structure roof. supporting it will be cantilevered. <clears throat> to the ridge beam that's cantilevered. In other words, we'll have structure underneath, the on top of the roof. So it's like a California frame. Yes, you can see on the... Oh, you got the big page. It shows the detail there. Those details there are shown. So the idea is that only the the flashing will reconnect the connection, because otherwise we get involved with mm -hmm. structurally making the existing residence as sound again, and so it would have to be right. drywall plaster that's come off almost the whole inside of the house to justify it. Mm -hmm. And that doesn't leak right there no, no, <laughs> at well, the it's, connection. It's, it's flash. <laughs> it just seems. Uh, so you it's have like a beam. A you have a flash. beam that's going over there, that's sitting on the. Cantilevered over. It's just cantilevered over. It's going to can cantilever about eight, seven feet. Correct. That's why. That's why we kind of would like to have the long cantilever to support that with a two to one ratio. If you remember. Well, I have to say that um, since Mr. Sweeney, um, Chair Sweeney, brought that up, I think that that long extension of roof is a little, a little much, um, in my opinion as well. It would, it would seem to me that if you wanted a deck with a view, that you wouldn't cover it up so much and be able to see, you know, see a little bit more sky out from the from the house as it is. It's going to be quite the tunnel looking under that roof. Um, Make a note of your comments. I want, to, okay. want the board to finish their comments. Uh, I have to, I have to uh, agree with Chair Sweeney about the, the stairs as well. I think he's made a great point there that they're a little close to the neighbor as well. With, I mean, we're having enough of a hard time with the fact that it doesn't meet our guidelines for the 15 feet, but then to have the stair with all that activity going up and down right next to the neighbor, I think, um, I think for that reason alone, it's a good idea to relocate the stairs. Okay, other comments? Okay, uh, before we come back to the board for a motion, we'll go to the applicant. You had a comment. Yeah, a couple couple points. Uh, one about the uh, uh, the roof, of course, the cover of it. Uh, the idea, of course, is uh, that I've been told by the gods is that you know, the idea is for eating outside. So we picture a, a dining table in that spot. So that's where the cupboard becomes for the whole the whole issue of it uh, to for that purpose to bring their outdoor in, in and, 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 and everybody knows the Mesa at this at all times of year that there's uh, in the evening it gets a little misty and uh, a little damp so it's covered helps that in a particular situation and secondly the stairway is that uh, if if we brought it to this side we are infringing on our tree again and we're trying to eliminate that and this is again all concrete to there that possibly if if we land and came down this, the back side of it, but the idea is that we'd like this free in here for that uh, access around the, around the bottom of the tree. Do you, do you have a photograph of that staircase? Uh, it should be somewhere, I think. Uh, on the back, uh, the, 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 it's, uh, there's a the middle. So that staircase exists? That's correct. So that staircase could remain, this deck could remain, so the staircase could be there too, correct? Could you use that staircase for um, for the same, for both uses? Obviously it comes off of the door, off what, of the kitchen right there? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, the yeah, yeah, how, about, yeah. how about making, a, how about using that stairway and eliminating the other one? Well, well um, if, if the scale is right, because this was done by a civil engineer, uh, or a surveyor, um, my stairway has to be beyond another six to eight inches. No, actually, it's about six, ten inches more because my post is beyond the building. 
where this is adjacent to the building, and I, if my stairway gets wider, I lose my axis my, around the tree. Well, the, the st stairway doesn't, you, it's possible to, to make the landing, if the stairway, oh, no, the right stairway here, is right here, it comes right to here. Yeah, but it's, it's narrow, so I'd have to widen that stairway. Well, you don't have to widen the whole stairway, you can just wire, widen the landing at the top and come right into the, if well, the door, the door well, is right here. Widen the landing, yeah, and then have the stairway beyond it. Uh -huh. Yeah, that could work. <clears throat> if, the if the door is right here, the door is in the, the area of the deck. Yeah. You mean? No, you can, you can make that landing bigger just right here. Just, just slightly, slightly larger at that point. Uh, okay, I can see that. But it still looks like you have to rebuild the stair because it's in oh, the... Oh, yeah, it would have to be anyway because it's 70 it's years old. Crappy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. We're trying to improve the access to the garage in the back of the yard. Currently, you come down to the rec room. You got to go around. And so that, yeah, go down to the patio. Right. The the stair, if you're going to remove the stairway, you could bring the stairway down and turn it and come back into the patio, or come back yeah, into well, the, that's the patio. Where the tree is though. Yeah, the tree. These branch. Actually, when I walk here right now, my head hits the limbs. Oh, right down the stairway now. No, no, when I come around the stairway, if I don't watch out, and right, I do the right, garage. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay, so we're talking about. All right, I'm ready to try a motion. Okay. Uh, yeah. Chair recognizes Ms. Bernstein. You have a motion, please. <laughs> All right. So I move to continue the project to return to the full board with the following comments. One, study the location of the stairway, bring the board an alternative design. Two, study the roof of the deck and bring the board an alternative that reduces the size of the roof over the deck. And three, um, bring the board a an alternative with the deck in the same place but with a reduction to the number that we talked about, which I wrote down a second ago. School footage. 15 by 14. Is that your motion? That's my motion. Okay. That's a motion on the floor. Is there a second to that motion? I'll second it. Okay. Is there further discussion? Hearing none, the chair will call for the vote. All in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? So carried. Okay, so we'll see you back here. Okay. Uh, whatever you want to work out with. Okay. Thank you. Two weeks. Two weeks. Okay. We'll have it two weeks. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, well, let's go to 25 Conejo Road. comments from our last meeting. Yes, Mr. Last Chair. Uh, number one, study the entry door and provide protection from the elements. Number two, reduce the square footage of the main level deck. Number three, study the support arches of deck on the main floor plan. Number four, provide a color board. Action taken by Pierce, seconded by Woolery. The motion was passed unanimously. Okay, thank you. Welcome. If you could introduce yourself. Uh, name is Jose Luis Esparza. I'm the architect. Okay, and if you could share with us how you address those comments, please. Yes. Uh, number one was the entry door. Uh, what we've done is um, recess the entry uh, 18 inches and provide a surround. Uh, it, it provides some protection, uh, but also in elevation. Oh, and we increased the doors to 7.6 for better proportions. So it, it now, you know, uh, it will attract the eye and, and say front door, you know. Uh, 
two is the deck. Um, we've uh, reduced the deck uh, size and by by removing the, the section of the deck that extended uh, out to this point. Uh, so now it comes to uh, where the addition uh, is uh, for um, uh, the pop-up for the so that internal stairs will work, uh, and we've reduced uh, uh, the square footage uh, to uh, the addition uh, of the deck is 424, but we've also lost an additional 60 square feet of existing deck, so the new deck is 364. And uh, the spacing of the of, of the columns. Uh, what we've done is we've, we've changed the columns to uh, two feet wide by one foot, which is more in keeping with the architecture. Um, that'll uh, uh, give it some mass even on the on the end elevations, um, uh, as you can see here. Uh, and it, but it'll also give us a place to have the, the, the downspout for the drains, uh, um, you know, so they'll be inside the column and, and down and away. And I did speak to the, uh, to the owner, and, and he would like to keep the colors the same. Uh, so the, the, there, there is uh, one of the things that attracted him to this house was that it, it is a white house, and it, it, it does stand out uh, from, uh, from the others. Um, and uh, I do have uh, cut sheets. I, I don't really recall if, uh, if they were kept, but I do have uh, cut sheets for the proposed um, uh, light fixtures. Uh, 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 this one would be at the front door, and this one would be at the back door. Okay. You have other, other things to present? Uh, no, uh, just uh, any questions that you might have. Okay. Okay, uh, do we have a color board? Uh, we did not make a color board because we weren't proposing any changes. Uh, Here's the picture we can... of what's existing. Okay, thank you. All right, before we go to questions for the board and comments, uh, Chair will open it for public comment. Anyone wishing to address this project can come forward. Frank, do we have any correspondence? No, we do not. Okay. Seeing no one step forward, Cheryl, will close public comment. Bring it back to the board for questions. Who has questions? I have no questions. Anyone questions? I'm, I'm just trying to um, make sure I understand what I'm looking at. Uh, let's see. Over, and I know this is existing, so it's not being proposed. What, what's happening right there? Is that a blank wall? <laughs> No, that is a big picture window. Uh, if we look at the photographs, it's it's, it's, it's this it's, it's this this window. Yeah. Which is, yeah. That window and this window. So what they yeah, th that, yeah, that I window. Is, th this is the new, this, these are the new window. Uh, yeah. Which is part of the pop out. Uh, so that when this when we come down the stairs, uh -huh. uh, we brought that two story and that provided a catwalk over to this deck from the living room. So, so this that window is existing. Yes. <laughs> so wait a minute. Wait, let me let me go back here. So these are the new windows. So those are the new windows. This is this a window, and there's no divisions. No. Even I, though there I, shows I, divisions I, on the plan. Yeah, I know that 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 the plan that did show those, but it's a picture window. So you're going to insist to the client that they put divisions. So I'm just trying to see what where that is. Yeah, there's no picture. I couldn't find it. Yeah, you can see it from across the canyon, but I couldn't remember whether it was divided. You can't tell whether it's divided or open, and I haven't been up there at night. Okay, but anyway, that's not being changed. Right. This is this is what's being proposed. Um, and this is being set back. So these are. Light fixture here. Is there any down light fixture over the top? Uh, no, no this just right there. Right, because we it's, it's only an 18 inch recess. Uh, okay. and it's although this. we although we could probably put a pin light in it. No, it's that picture. It's right. Right. Yeah. And, More decorative. and is this a wood door? Yes. Okay. Do we have a? Is that a, do you have a cut sheet for that? Or? I don't have a cut sheet, but I do have a detail through it. So it'll be it'll be out of a catalog, probably. Uh, 
probably not custom made. Well, Mr. Chair, I have a yeah. question. What's this little thing here, the top part? What's that little it, It's uh, just a part of the plaster. It's uh, a plaster yeah. application. Plaster, you know, Because it's the, it's the, that's proud? Yes, it, it's oh, a okay. two, by, two by plaster and mold, and just so that it wasn't right. square. Okay, other questions? Yeah. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Parks. Um, will you be retaining the same look on the chimney cap? Uh, this looks like uh, a tile or something. Can yes. Can you explain that? Yes. Uh, we'll, we'll be retaining the same detail. Um, it's not tile now. It's not tile now. It's, it's not, then, just like, like a metal piece on top. Can we put yeah, that in? as a metal piece. Yeah. So it's kind of staying the same. Yes. So that's not correct. It's this is correct. Yeah, I, I guess during the construction, the it, that's that's the way they. Okay. So it's it's just a sheet metal coping. Okay. All right. Other questions. Mr. Chair. Yes, ma'am. Yes. So when all is said and done, and this house is complete, and so we don't have a color board, but are you? Um, going to be painting the entire house and every all the decks and everything are all going to be new. Is that what you're saying? Well, the the, the decking tiles will be new. Uh, you know, the, uh, th this is the only addition to the deck. Um, we're we're doing uh, we're having to do repair to all the decks. Mm -hmm. So the, the we, we have to redo the waterproofing and and the tiles, but the, the, we're going to use the same material. But but I think her question is, if you look at this photograph, this stucco appears to be um, soiled and worn, et cetera. So are you intending to repaint just these pieces or the whole house? I think that's what her question is. Uh, I I don't know that the, the owner has figured that. He, he does want to try wa pressure washing at first mm -hmm. uh, because uh, it is an integral uh, uh, plaster color. Um, kind of like a La Habra or... So it's you know, not been painted, it's the original right. La Habra. Oh, okay. Right. It, it's stucco. Yeah, it's a, it's a stucco um, white. Uh, and, and uh, you know, depending on, on how uh, cleaning goes, uh, we may need to do some touch-up, but the, the idea, you know, his intention is not to repaint the whole house. Okay. Okay. Other questions? Okay, this is uh, here for its third concept review. Any action can be taken. Uh, we have not, Mr. Rangan, just want to make sure, we haven't given this a project design approval or we haven't given it final, correct? Uh, we have not given either. Okay. Uh, so in your comments, you can think <coughs> about a formulation of a motion. It could either be um, here for project design approval with comments. It could be here for project design approval without comments. It could be based on what's been submitted, um, although the color board's not here, so that might be a little more difficult to give it project approval and final approval um, because the drawings would have to appear to be final. Uh, but I'll leave that up to the maker of the motion. I have a question regarding yes. this. Is the color board required? Because I knew before uh, Michelle was pretty adamant, even if it's existing, and they still wanted a color board. So. It is. It is for final approval. Okay. Final approval. All right. Okay. So that's the range of possible range. There may be other things I didn't think about, but those are the possible range for consideration. So let's go to comments. Uh, I support. I think he's done a good job. I think he's answered our uh, comments, and uh, I can support the project. I think. Uh, yeah, I think it's fine. Okay. Other comments. Okay. Uh, I think that, yes, he did address the uh, project. The only other comment I have, just because it looks a little awkward, um, I like your, I think this solved the problem, but I think in three dimensions, as you look at it three-dimensionally, on the two ends, I would bring, where is it? Uh, I would bring uh, that around so that you get, a, you get a foot and a half or two feet, whatever your dimension was, so that it's equal on both sides even though you might be just one foot thick. Uh, I think that would look better in, in, in the third dimension. Um, <laughs> you're going to go through that trouble of, of reinforcing, the, reinforcing the decks. Um, 
and I think you said you were going to you were going to take these are overflow scuppers, but you're going to have right. downspouts that are going to run inside right. and daylight out on the on grade somewhere. Uh, the site has a, a, a drainage that uh -huh. goes out to a lower riprap area, okay. uh, which we're going to connect because being on a hillside and being Conejo, uh, it, it's um, it's not always good to add more water than necessary to the hillside. Okay, and then my only other comment is whoever makes the motion um, in whatever fashion, you, you may want to comment to make sure the drawings get corrected mm -hmm. the, that that somehow is in, the, in whatever motion you might put Okay, those are my comments. Uh, any further discussion? Yes, Mr. Chair. Yes, so before somebody makes a motion, how do we um, address the issue of the power wash and how would we be able to follow up with that? Well, I'm thinking a color board. But that doesn't... When they return with final, they need to bring the color board. And the, as far as the power wash goes, I, I don't think that's an issue for me. It's not for me. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. We have pictures of, of the deck that are lots of the deck going to be redone. When you you commented yeah. on, they're not going to touch the decks. But. No, no, we're, we all the decks they, they use the roofing material underneath for waterproofing. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> we have well, we have details what? showing how they're going how they're how they're going to be built. Well, uh, I I do have details through the new deck, which will be will use the same uh, um, uh, waterproofing for for the rest of the decks. Okay. Chair would look for a motion. I'd like to make a motion. Yes. Um, I'd like to make a motion to uh, give this design project design approval and to return to consent with the following comments. Um, we'd like to see the, the architect uh, make the, the, uh, on the particular elevation, that, on uh, the east elevation, that the column in the front there be thickened so it's equal distance on both sides east and west elevations. Uh, we would like, like to see uh, clarification of the uh, scuppers uh, drawing in the downspouts, how that'll work. Um, we'd also like you to have a color board included. Um, uh, we'd also like to see the chimney caps accurately drawn and also a detail of how you're going to waterproof the decks. Okay. That, is, that is my motion. Is that, uh, Two weeks or in? You want it uh, two weeks or indefinitely? Uh, if it's to consent, could it be one week? It, it, yes, it could actually be one week. Okay, one week? Yes. Okay. Right, so one week, that's part of your motion. Is there a second to that? I'll second. second that motion. Okay, there's a second. Is there further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Abstention? So carried. Okay, so you can do those corrections and then go to consent. Graduate and he's working on the, he's going to be working on this license now. Wow. That's wonderful. Well, welcome. Thank you. Is that the week holding on to that, or are you taking it? Oh, we need that. Are you going to bring that back? Are you going to bring that back and put it on the drawings? Or? I, yes. Okay. Uh, let's go to. Oh, yeah. And there's a 10 day appeal. Oh, yes, 10 day. This has, because we gave a project design don't approval, it has a 10 day appeal. Yeah, don't we need to, to do the MPO findings? Uh, yes, yeah. you better. So they make a second motion. Okay. I think that's the appropriate thing. Okay. Oh, I want to make a second motion to complete the. The, 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 the first one. With the following. Canal Road. With the following MPO findings. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we feel the project is consistent with appearance, um, with the character of the city, it answers the appearance of the neighborhood, the compatibility is proposed uh, is with the uh, size bulk and stale scale is appropriate to the site and neighborhood. Uh, we feel the quality of architectural material um, is uh, appropriate and that you follow the good neighbor guidelines. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Is there a second to that? I'll second that. Okay. Is there any further discussion to the motion on the floor? Hearing none, Chair will call for the vote. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? 
Abstention, so carried. Ten day appeal period. Right. Now there's a 10 day <laughs> appeal period. Now there's a 10 day appeal Okay, let's go to 236, Salida del Sol. This is here for a third concept review. Project design approval is requested. Project was last reviewed on May 18, 2015. Mr. Miller, if you could read the comments, please. Yes. Number one, provide the materials for the front door on the west elevation. Number two, study the scale of the trellis. Number three, study the window fenestrations on the east elevation. Number four, study the placement of the chimney to match the roofing element. Number five, study the roof element relative to the second story on the north elevation. Number six, study the amount of proposed skylights concerning visual impacts. Number seven, redesign the deck on the south elevation to fit the second story addition. Number eight, clarify the relationship of the decks with the roof. Number nine, provide sections for the staircase and roof height locations. Number 10, provide a landscape plan. Action by Miller, followed by Woolery. Motion was carried unanimously. Thank you. Welcome, if you could introduce yourself, please. My name is Blair Weymouth. If you could share with us how you address those issues. I don't actually have the list in front of me. Do you have a copy of that list? No. Okay, well, I the first, the first uh, thing we did was to uh, address the front door, and uh, the, the front door is going to be um, fur. It's made by a uh, little door. Oh, great, thank you. Um, all fur, inch and three quarter, 3068 door. And uh, the hardware is going to be similar, although anodized uh, oil bronze. And, um, Let's see, and the second thing was the scale of the trellis. And the trellis was, I believe, uh, removed. Um, are you talking about the trellis? Do you recall whether the trellis that you're referring to was the one that we were, we were considering putting on the front elevation for the, uh, Do you have a for the garage. David, do you have the previous Because we drawing? talked about that, and I provided a full landscape plan on this go-round, so uh, there's trees planted there and so on, so let's see if we can find a... Figure out what we mean by trellis. Oh, maybe, uh... Yeah. Changed the front of the building based on the comments. Yeah, we had a we had a trellis here. Oh, okay. Right. There was a trellis across, and the that's front gone door. now. I and see. That is that is gone. Okay. We not only did that, but we I spoke to the owners and explained them that nobody was particularly thrilled with the roof pitch um, that mimicked uh, so, so, the original pitch. So, so instead have, of the trellis, what are you doing? So we now have changed the entire roof to standing ceiling uh, metal roof. Uh, we continued the roof, uh, we've changed the pitches of the roof. We used to have a this? tall gable that came all the way through on the original house. The ridge line went right through here. And instead of having that cumbersome roof line, we lowered the profile because it was unnecessary and carried that roof line all the way around from front to rear. And instead of bringing the whole roof up like we did before, we only did a pop out to accommodate the headroom required for the stairwell. Um, and I superimposed a section of the, the way the, that bump out works right there that shows how we've cleared. Um, I can provide another one, but that's, that's just showing that the staircase ends up at two inches, two and a half inches above the finished deck outside and gives you um, adequate headroom from the beam that's going to be right here for the supporting that little pop out. So we so this pop out is that pop out right exactly. Here. And the idea is they don't need skylights there. That was uh, a suggestion they talked about. I said nobody was particularly thrilled with that, so we'll get rid of the skylights. They're not required, um, and they're not necessary really. So we addressed that, and we. Um, broke up the window line somewhat so that uh, they were slightly asymmetrical but nonetheless uh, contiguous. 
and we changed the garage door so that it remains where it was originally, which was 90 degrees to the street instead of trying to bring it straight to the street. They like the idea. Um, the landscape plan reflects that. Um, let's see what else is on your list here. Um, the placement of the chimney. We did a simple stucco, uh, stucco chimney to accommodate, and I provided all the spec sheet on the um, five to seven uh, single uh, single chimney with the spark arrestor. Mm -hmm. It's a gas only. Uh, provided the specs from the manufacturer. Mm -hmm. And um, let's see. And again, we, we, we addressed the issue of the deck, which at the time um, seemed uh, awkward. I don't know it was used originally, but I think it was something to that effect. It, it projected quite a ways further into here and it did have an awkward roof line. So we brought it back. You can see the old ghosting of the old location. We shrunk it down to 162 square feet. And because we changed the roof line, we don't have that cumbersome view of the back roof through it. So it's cleaned that up. Um, provided the landscape plan. I mean, obviously, this is a much more expensive way to handle the roof by going to this, but it's so much better looking, and it's all of the better quality houses in the area that are going to it really, really look great. So we, we sort of mimic that roof line as best we could. Okay. I believe that's most everything. So do you have a landscape plan? Mm -hmm. yeah, because yes, we where, looked at it. Where is it in this set of Yeah, yeah, it's in there. We looked at it, we liked it. Let's see. This is it? Yeah. Staircase and roof mm -hmm. heights. Did you give us a section for the house? Somewhere? I did a projected uh, ghosted in section because I guess it's on this one. Can I yeah, go ahead. So I, I just ghosted the line in. Um, where is that? Is that what you're referring yeah, to? Yeah, you know, that's ghosted in. So you can see where the finished floor is in relationship to where the beam is. And we've got over the 80 inch minimum requirement. So so this element right here is over that staircase, correct? That's this little piece right here. Yes, this element out to here. So it pops out. The only place where it sticks out over that is is here. This this actually stops at a beam that's incorporated into the handrail of the stairs going down. Did you so, move the stairway back? Is that what you did? Or towards the front of the house? We moved it back. Uh, slightly back, Oops, yeah, slightly and back, and um, <coughs> although there was headroom before, uh, it didn't require, uh, it, it allowed us to give it some more room, so when we moved it Sorry. this way, uh, there's uh, two steps more that project up into. Um, it looks like it starts at the same, I'm looking at Oh, I guess it's close to the, it's very close, but what, this post here is, is taking the, is supporting that pop out and the header at that location. There's so. enough room on your first first few risers. Oh, absolutely. Because the elevations look, I'm comparing the elevations of the old to the new. The bottom of this being, they're yeah, the old, one, the old, one, the old elevation came all the way down to here. You know, you can see the old line right there. Right. Yeah, well, that was a, a concern before, but we, we were clear of it then. This beam is incorporated up into this wall and sits on a post on either side of the stairwell. 
and you don't. Okay. It definitely is more than adequate room. Okay. Anything else you want to present? Uh, just that we're going, um, I provided samples of the uh, roof material, which I which are made by um, m and uh, Roofing Company. It's basically a standing the board. Uh, it's on... There it is. Well, I don't know, maybe the book didn't make it. The door. The door. So m and Roofing manufacturers movements made by uh, copper supply and we're going to go with a 16 inch on center standing seam and the oil bronze which is in their color sample here and the dark bronze which is a good match for what's there and is typical of the other roofs I've seen in the area they weren't particularly thrilled with uh, a bare degree or anything like that I'm not sure you would have been either okay Anything else you'd need to share with us? I think that's it. Okay. All right. Before we go to questions, the board chair will open it for public comment. Anyone wishing to address this project can step forward. Mr. Ring, any correspondence? Um, no. Okay. Seeing no one step forward, chair will close public comment and bring it back to the board for questions. Who has questions? Anyone? Um, I, I have a question. There's a reason we ask for sections, and, and so then I have to scale this. First of all, your your steps, your your risers all measure nine inches on this drawing. Okay. Is that last time I checked? It has to be seven and three quarters, right? It's actually okay. Seven, excuse me. I'll, oh, okay. I'll make the comments, and then you make sure. notes, and you you can comment back when I'm finished. Um, and. The plate height looks to be nine, nine feet, some inches, maybe nine six or nine four. Uh, it's hard to tell because we don't have a section. Um, and this chimney, I believe by code, these are these are quarter inch scale, right? Quarter inch scale has to be ten feet away from. The roof. Is that right? So this thing has to be higher. Two feet above. Ten feet away. Right. Ten two feet above. Ten feet away. Right. Is that even if it's a, if they rate it like a gas only or so something a gas like that? Only. I don't know. Is that uh, still apply? I know it does. For it absolutely right when it comes to fire or wood burning. But, uh, anyway, that's a question. Okay. Uh, let's see. Roof height uh, on the door. I think you drew it in. So that door is going to have a light. Can we have that mm -hmm. on the screen? So this door is going to have a light like that. Okay. And um, on the deck behind, so the extent of the deck that you've redid, redone it is if that's the bottom of the deck, then I'm scaling this correctly then it appears that the railing is only, that's the top of the deck, the railing's only 30 inches high. Um, and I believe it has to be higher. And I think that the width of the deck appears to be, based on the plan, something from here to here, correct? Uh, yes. Okay. Okay, those are, I think, my basic questions. Anyone else with questions? Do you have photos of the adjacent homes? Did we get mm -hmm. that before? Yeah, you've had we got all that. that before. Yeah, do you have those somewhere? Thank you. Yes. Sure. There's a scale. <clears throat> Other questions while well, Brian's looking at photographs. Other other questions?
Okay, let's go to comments then. This is here for its third concept review. It's applicants requesting project design approval. Okay, I'm, I, I appreciate what you've done. I think, think you've come a long way, but I'm still struggling with the compatibility of this house and this neighborhood. Um, I don't know if I can be comfortable with the standing metal seam roof in this neighborhood because it all looks like the asphalt shingle. Um, I'm starting to feel, I've seen a lot of these uh, standing metal seam roofs and it has an, an industrial quality to it. If you were to do, an, and I'd like to hear the uh, other board members' thoughts about it, but if anything, it needs to be at the most 12 inches on center roof yeah. than the 16 because it gets very industrial looking <laughs> uh, to my view. Now the deck, your roof deck to me, still feels awkward and the reason I say that is the way it, it's how you're, this is really clumsy to me. If it should, you know, if, if this was like a roof truss, you'd go straight across, I think that would be far better. But I also find that if you have part of a roof here, it looks kind of awkward as well. It's not a comfortable looking, it looks like you're just kind of popping the deck into the roof. It's not a natural flow of how a deck would um, come together on a second floor. Um, so I'm just, it's, it's, it doesn't occur to a deck to me, if anything, it kind of occurs like a, a hole in the roof. Um, so that, I don't think that's designed quite right to um, flow with the upstairs deck. Uh, it needs to have a more, if anything, this has to come straight across and this goes all the way to the end so you don't have a little funny little roof going across. But then it looks like you've chopped the roof in half. Um, so I don't know. That's kind of where I, I feel about that. There's some needs a little more exploration about that deck. Okay. Other comments? It's hard. The, house, the plans are, just in general, the plans are hard for me to follow because, as uh, Mrs. Sweeney has stated, as Mr. Sweeney has stated, we don't have any sections showing what's happening through the three or four places that definitely need sections. Um, that's why it's hard to follow. Um, you can't do a set of plans in just two dimensions. You definitely need three dimensions. And, uh, and I would spend an hour trying to understand the plans myself. And it just doesn't happen. It's just, just standing, just sitting here looking at them real fast and having to review them. Comments other than that. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make some comments. You're, you're kind of there, but you're not close yet. Uh, and, I, and this, I think, may get to, to Mr. Miller's comments about the appropriateness of the house to the neighborhood. This whole second level looks like it's been stuck on. And when you do a, a second floor addition to a single family home that's one story, the thing we really look for is making it look like it's integral so that it looks like it's probably always been there and maybe it was designed that. And, so I was just sketching a second ago. Part of the problem is this is way too high. The portions above the plate and the window heights typically in most residential structures, we place the windows at six foot eight inches, mm -hmm. rough opening. And then uh, we make an eight foot plate height. And, and you've got more than nine feet in plate height. And I think that from the street, this elevation needs to take that whole element and push it down so that the portions above those windows and really do provide um, a shade over it, particularly where the sun is coming from. So uh, getting that proportionally down, I think, yes, having, having the seams at 12 inches are going to make it much more better if for residential scale. Um, that's what you intend to use. There are other um, uh, standing scene metal roofs in the neighborhood, so I think that's okay. Um, I think that this this front door, I did a lot of, my career I've done a lot of elementary schools. That looks like an elementary school door. I think you can, with a, with its requisite uh, light in the, in the door, I think you really need to rethink what that door looks like. Um, it's, it's not a residential looking door. So I think that needs to occur. I think that the, the back end balcony element needs some help here. Um, 
it's really, it's, it isn't going to look like this sketch. And that's why we take a section through there. So if you take a section through there, you're going to end up with perhaps the deck with the railing coming out like that, if that's indeed what you've drawn. So this isn't really accurate. So the drawings, need, we need to have sections. Okay? Got to have sections on the drawings. Got to have sections through this deck. You need to have sections through the staircase, not just clouded in on an elevation. I want to see a section. Those are appropriate drawings that we should have before we give it any kind of approval. Um, I think that when you pull when you pull this roof frame down, this is going to help the neighbors to the to the backside. If you've been in this neighborhood, you'll know where this house is. Then then you'll need to rethink the proportions of this window. Um, I think that's going to you're going to need some effort to make that work. Um, I think, you know, kind of in general, it's, it's getting there, but it's not there yet. So I think there, there's more work that needs to be done on this to get it to be uh, compatible with the neighborhood. Other comments? Um, yes. And, and also the, the railings, the correct height. Yes, correct. Yeah. That, that, that goes without saying. Yeah. The staircases aren't correct. The railings aren't correct. They've got to be the code. Okay. <clears throat> Other comments? And hearing no more comments, the chair would entertain a motion. You can either give it concept, uh, concept approval, you can not give it concept approval, you can give it concept approval with comments, or you can just make comments for it to return. It's up to you. I'll try. Okay. Uh, I move that we continue the project indefinitely and with the following comments. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> It says, it says you're on. Yeah. Where's your microphone? Your fell off. Oh right. my gosh. On the floor. <laughs> okay, sort of. I move that we continue the project uh, indefinitely with the uh, following comments um, that you definitely have sections through every place that needs a section. That's cut right through where they're defined at. Um, consider uh, changing the, uh, the size of the standing uh, roof, metal roof, the spacing of it. Uh, consider uh, showing details of the, of the railings and um, Railings at uh, at, uh, at at south elevation. South so. elevation. Well, railings all the way all the way around. Show the show the details for it and where they have the height the height they are and their locations. Uh, also, um, show us drawings with appropriate um, might lower the second floor height uh, plate height and show us uh, to scale drawings of windows that are underneath overhangs. <coughs> and, um, stair risers. Stair risers, that will be, that will come with the sections through the stairs. And, the front door. and a, yeah, and a, a cut of a more appropriate, that we feel a more appropriate front door. I think that's all. Okay, that's your motion. Um, would you consider adding to your motion a specific plate height for the second floor? Yes. Let's, let's put it eight feet. Okay. That's part of your motion. Okay. Is there a second for the motion? Okay. Uh, I'd like to... Further comments? Yes, I have a comment. Uh, possibly study the uh, roof deck. Um, so that's... Uh, we study the configuration of the roof deck off of the master bedroom so that it um, uh, I don't know how else to say that. Just to study the location and size of the roof deck off the master bedroom so it conforms to the to the uh, to the addition. 
Okay. <laughs> All right, is that part of your motion? Yes. Okay, is that acceptable to the second? Okay. Other discussion? Okay, that's um, Yes. Yeah, I just, it doesn't need to go in the motion. I just think that the little drawing that you did was brilliant, and I was looking at that, and I was waiting for one of the architects to put it like that, and I, I would just like the applicant to look at that, because I think that'll make it really fit better. Part of the challenge here is we're not supposed to be designing this stuff, but in some cases, I think sometimes it helps to get it across that that's what we're, that's what we're looking for. Okay, there is a motion on the floor. Any further discussion? Hearing none, Chair will call for the vote. All in favor signify by saying, pardon? Denise. Denise, second. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Abstention, so carried. Okay, we'll see you back here. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Uh oh, the, what's the matter? Right, didn't, 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 <laughs> yeah, everyone's falling apart around here. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's go to 516 Sea Ranch Drive. This is a new item. This is a proposal to demolish 96 square feet and add 696 square feet to an existing one story, 245. 2,443 square foot single family residence with an attached 416 square foot two car garage. The project includes the addition of an attached 307 square foot one car garage, construction of a detached 400 square foot accessory building, enlargement of the driveway area, demolition of 1,137 square feet of deck, and construction of new 1,529 square feet of wood deck, of which 1,123 square feet will be covered. The proposed total of 4,166 square feet of development on a 1.5 acre parcel in the Hillside Design District and the appealable and non-appealable jurisdictions of the coastal zone is 79% of the guideline maximum floor to lot area ratio. All proposed development will take place within the portion of the parcel in the non-appealable appealable jurisdiction of the coastal zone. This is here for comments only and requires environmental assessment. Hi. If Hi. you could introduce yourself, please. I'm Jim McCary, the architect. Okay. If you could share with us um, what you're intending to do. Well, it's under 14 stories. <laughs> oh, good. No. We are um, it's an existing home. Uh, page A01 will tell you what, how the layout of the existing residence is, pool and deck areas. And from that, the main, the easterly portion of the house will be stayed the same. It's going to just be updated, but no square footage done. Okay, so this is the site plan showing the creek side and the offset, and this is the Area that I've kind of done is the is the new additional square footages that are going to be added. The clear is what's already existing square footages. A cross cast. A one point oh yeah, that's the additional square footages. Mm -hmm. That's a deck with a cover on it. A A one. Yes, keep keep on going. Black is showing existing walls, and all the hatch that, uh, hashed walls are the proposed new walls. This is the main house. Right now, it comes and it does a kind of a thing like this. So this is we're creating a master suite, enlarging, the, flipping the kitchen. The kitchen's over here now. We're going to put it to the front. Living room. These all remain the same. Same square footages. Replacing the windows for code and. and Title 24, patio covered. Very, the idea is more of a craftsman Polynesian type look, plantation Polynesian. This is the garage that actually is to be added here to the existing car garage. The entry used to come around here, and now we've made a, a gabled entry coming in off the parking.
And then the accessory space is here, which will be attached so that it has access and also it would be. This is really, uh, the photographs are here showing you the right terrain. Here. All right. <laughs> so this is, you got great intervention nowadays. With the <laughs> This is the present. Can you wait till the camera zooms in so we can get a better? Sure. Through is because the, the center aesthetics that we're looking for is more of, like I say, the plantation look. Uh, full gables at the view, and then have the same big detailing on the corners of the new additions. And we ask sections, we have sections through each area. And this is coming up the driveway, you're going to see. Protected entryway, double door entry, and then the, the master wing. Okay. Um, I have a color board if you want to see kind of the colors and the style that they're looking for. This is more, this have more elevation in these sections. I'm showing the entry section coming through the colonnade to the front door, and then lo low entry, and then it goes to the volume of the, of the building. And this is just kind of the roof, roof pitch and square of the structure. This is existing, this is existing, a portion of this is existing, this is being covered, redirectioning the, the roof pitching. Okay. Anything else you need to share with us? You said you had a car? I do. It's not going to be copper, but it's going to have the copper appearance to the new Alcoa product they have out. The, uh, will be aluminum clad. Can you speak a little um, bit louder? Aluminum clad windows, um, uh, rock walls, and IPA natural stain finish deck. Okay, thank you. Okay. Uh, Anything else? That's it? That'll be it. Okay. All right. uh, before we go to questions and comments from the board, uh, I have one speaker slip. Mr. King, do we have any correspondence? No, just what's before you. Okay. Uh, Dan Foss, please. Yeah, you need to come up and sit in that chair, if you would, please, and speak into that microphone. And then two minutes to address the board. Okay. I'll be quick. I'm the next door neighbor. You saw my, my home and some of those photographs right behind the wolves. And Brian and Chris and I have been very friendly through all of this, so um, this is not adversarial. But we bought our home there about six years ago, really bad house, great view. Uh, I transferred my property tax base, so I'm serious about staying there forever. Um, 
So my views will potentially be impacted. So I really can, only have. Can I have you speak into the okay. I really only have two questions. Number one, uh, is it possible to request story polls that just allow me to see the extent of the addition westward and the height of that roof line? And then secondly, I just noticed in my brief review of the plans on Friday here at, at the city that the, uh, the roof line over the, the new living area, or actually the existing living area, is being extended and elevated. And I'd just like to see to what extent that may impact my view just by simply putting a pole up to the new roof line height. Okay. Anything uh, else? So you're living, you live up here? Yeah, my, I live oh, right sure. here. My master bedroom sits right here in our house and is oriented. Can you show it there? It's yeah, camera. Sure. So it's up here? Yes. Okay. Exactly. Okay. okay. Got it. Right. Thank so you. this is this is the roof line that I'm asking questions about. And correct me if I'm wrong, Brian, but at one point, Brian, you you told me that the extent of that roof line was going to roughly the the location of the existing black trunk uh, palm palm tree. And just by looking at the plan, if if you show Jim on the plan the existing palm tree location, from from what I'm scaling, it looks like it's actually going 10 to 12 feet further west, yeah, and that that's a concern. There's the palm there. Yeah, so it's hard for me to overlay the 16th sure. plan with I the 10th plan, <laughs> and I'm trying to figure out where that roof line ends. Okay. Anything else? No. That's it. Okay. Thank you. Thank All you. right, chairs. Any other public speakers? Give that back. To and the chair is going to close public comment and bring it back to the board for questions. Who has questions? Um, yes, Denise. Yes. Um, so on your um, on your uh, uh, color chart, color chart here, it shows this lovely stone wall. Is that is that going to replace these white? Walls? No, those well, are, are they those are that's a swimming pool. Can we put them on up. Yeah, I was going to say, where, where are we? Where are the stone walls going to be? The landscape walls. Those, let me go to the plan. It'd be better to show you where we're looking for that to be. In some of these areas, right at the edge of the the deck, that's going to cantilever out. We're going to have the walls there, so there'll be a planning strip barrier. That's not going to show. In in some of these areas, right in through here and around in here. So, uh, yeah. Uh, so right at the edge of the overhang on the on like, the like in yeah like in here, we're going to build them up so there's a landscape. So they're not showing on this drawing. No, they're not but because we don't know the height of this, and I mean we know that we're going to be less than thirty inches, but we don't know how high they're going to be. If they're going to be a foot high or eighteen inches high, it's more of a decorative. Because when you're down on this level, looking back, you're going to look underneath the house, and the idea is to put the rock wall out there with landscaping so you don't look back up underneath the, the deck. Oh, okay. When you're so the, it's going to, I just guess I'm, I'm still con a bit okay. confused. And through uh, here, someone will be... Let me come over there, because I can't see. In other words, when you're sitting on the pool deck that's existing, yeah. when you look back this way, we don't right. want to look underneath exactly. the deck. So they're going to be in here, and then when we have places where we put planting in them, we'll put planting in them. Oh. So you have that. You have a section I in here. Let's see. Let's go to the three. Three point. <coughs> it just still does nothing really shows. Yeah, and no, we don't show them to that amount because the deck's going to come out there. The top. But see here, it's kind of like here where you see a section here. There it is right there. Yeah. So there's so going to be stone. There's going to be something right There's going to be something out in here okay. so that you don't have a visual. And will you be having a landscape plan? Oh, yes, absolutely. We've and, already um, started that. Okay, and my other last question is, you're going to maintain uh, that white wall? That, no. Is that going to go away so go, that you yeah, can gonna, see the rest of their property? So, <laughs> so this well, white wall goes away. Right, that hasn't been the new one for the, the pool of protection mm -hmm. will be a, a, of a different this, style and a different color, and it will blend more in with the surroundings rather than being a... White uh, the, the pool. Chain link or something? Well, I don't think he's going with chain link. I he's trying to go with a little bit of a pattern. The existing. This is all more better. And he's doing one around the whole property, more of like a ranch hole, three rails, okay. just so that you stop in and then there'll be another barrier around the pool as well. And then will there be landscaping oh, yes. extended away from the yes. for the rest of the property? Yeah, these, okay. They've already started that with various people. Okay, great. Question? Okay. Yes. Um, 
You show the uh, configuration on the plan that has the spa in the middle of the pool, but this existing has it in the corner. So you, oh, it looks a, like the pool that's... I'm sorry, yeah, the one there is a, is a portable. Yeah. Ah. The new one's going to be built in. Okay. Into the pool, into the pool deck. So you're extending the width of the pool deck, deck. beyond the, the deck, existing yeah. pool right. edge. Okay. Okay. Other questions? Um, so just to follow up on that, so the the existing pool remains. This just becomes a new spa built in. Okay. And then um, all of this porch is only about 30 inches high, apparently. Right, or okay. less. Uh, and then uh, you, you presented some colors. Do you, does this standing seam metal roof have a fascia? Or did you, you figure that out yet? Yeah, well, the idea, let me go here. And I, the only reason I'm asking is you, you're showing trim color on the window systems as being this kind of brown color. But typically, we we always have a some kind of fascia element with the staining seam. So I was wondering what color it's going to be might staying be. the same as the doors and, okay. and the window trims. Okay. Um, and then uh, these are skylights, correct? Yes, sir. And they're in a well. That's correct. And these are new skylights. This skylight is no. There's no. That's the fireplace. Oh, okay. The, that skylight is not in the well. It's in the. Uh, the slope of the, of the and kitchen. That, that's, that's new. That's new yes. part of the roof. Okay. Yes. Um, okay. The rest of those are comments. Okay. Those are my questions. Other questions? What part of it? If you look at it right there, the roof pan, what part of it is volume? This is all volume. The main, the main. This is main volume room. and this is volume. Okay. And this got a uh, this the entry, it. this new wing, and and this is, yeah, it's just a shallow volume inside okay. of it. Okay. Okay. All right, other questions? If not, let's go to comments. This this project is here. Yes, do you have questions? I do have some questions. Yes, go ahead. I'm sorry, I'm so confused. I just wonder if you could point out where, okay, the 1529 feet of deck, is that the one that's wrapping all around? or New. That's new, and so on and, this, where's it going? The old deck is, is, is right there. You can see it. Okay, so it's sort of It's almost in the same the place, one. right, but we're putting a cover over it. And, and the cover's made out of what? The metal roof. The metal roof. It's a solid and roof. And that's what one of the neighbors was concerned about. I think he's concerned about this one here, which is the house, the master bedroom suite roof. Which is going off this end right here. Right, to that palm okay. tree right there. Okay, so we've got... and is. Is there a garage there now? Yes. And so you're adding it's, another garage. Right. And then the detached 400 square foot building is this right here. Right. Okay. Well, that was my other question. Um, Mr. Ng, I did have a question about the attached, attached 400 square foot um, room on this side. Is there, uh, because it's separated from the house, it's, it's connected via the covered porch. Yes. Is that... Is there a building code or a zoning code issue with it being separated by that 10 feet? Uh, it just needs to be connected with an 8-foot wide span, which is the roof. That which is the cover. roof. So they, that is allowed because of the roof. Yeah, you can have like okay. a breezeway or some other type of connection like that. Okay, thank you. Pertaining to story poles, what's the approximate floor height of your floor and the house behind you? Uh, floor height, approximately. You mean Finished floor. From the first floors? Main floor. Yeah. Between these two houses. Yeah. I, I think I have a picture of it right in one of the, in the stuff that I gave you guys. <clears throat> They're probably, from floor to floor, it's got to be, well, you should be able to see it right here. You're going to see that how much it's grown right here before it even comes up for the building site. So it's going to be 12, 14 feet. And so these, from first these floor, grades are how far apart? Two. So there's 2, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, So the house 8. behind you is, their it's finished the floor is 14 feet above yours. Right, a story, a story and a half, more or less. Okay. And they added a second story on this new construction. And, and just to be clear, 
this piece that we're looking at right here is that roof right there. That's correct. Okay. This piece right here is coming out. This is the palm tree you're referring to. Exactly. So it's it's coming out at an angle in this photograph to here. Correct. And that's in relationship to this house there that's constructed up here. Okay. Other questions? Uh, let's go to comments. This is here for comments only because it has to have an environmental assessment. So your motion will be just for comments. Uh, yes, I, Mr. Miller. I really like the approach you're going. It kind of reminds me of the movie, movie Out of Africa. It's a very <laughs> African <laughs> savanna feeling home. I think it's a huge improvement of what's there now in terms of your approach. Um, and I, like it, I think the standing metal seam roof, 12 inches on center, I would, you know, would look really good on that on this project. Um, it doesn't bother you that there are uh, tile roofs everywhere around him? Well? I mean, I'm, I'm saying that because in comments in the past, uh, the neighborhood doesn't have well, standing roofs. Where's so. that one photograph? That's a good question or comment. Uh, that was, yeah, well, I think, where's that? That, that one, uh, it, it, you're looking at it from an angle. That's, see, this isn't S tile here. This is. That's if, a concrete. If you tile. drive out to that neighborhood and actually look, there are standing seam metal yeah. roofs. Where is that one room. photograph that it had the? Uh, it's, it's kind of an important photograph. You're looking yeah. at it at an angle. It's a back view. I just saw it. Um, there it is. This one. So, I just think it's going to be a really nice setting there for that. The whole approach. Um, I'd like to see the detailing of your columns. Sure. Um, these columns, you've got it. I'm curious to see what approach you're going to make because they look kind of funny in proportionately. But actually, there, I do. There's a house over on Edge Cliff I did that has the same type of columns. And what we do, we use those columns to take our leader heads uh -huh. down and, and then collect all the water below the decks. So all the water that comes off the roof is catchable. So I, in concern of your view, I, I don't think this is going to affect your view. In fact, I think it's. Actually, going to improve the over qual overall quality of the neighborhood. Frankly, those are my comments. Okay. Other comments? Uh, let's see. I'm going to go to mine while we're here on this sketch. Um, I think, in general, yes. Um, this certainly looks like I, I just finished a house in Hawaii and kind of used the same approach. So I kind of your, your shirt is appropriate. Twenty years from yeah. there. <laughs> yeah, so it looks it looks like I just did a house in the house. So uh, yeah. I think this is appropriate. Do we get to go check it out? Yeah, yeah really. You can go <laughs> check Story it out. Story pull it, you know? Story pull it. Um, but, but you struggle the same way I struggle with the proportions of this entry porch. And I think that may need a little more study. It's almost like I want to take those columns and push them that way a little bit. Right. Okay? It's, it's an ongoing dilemma it, yeah, because, of, because of that right there. Right. So you might want to look at that. I, it, I can see where you're going. I, it, I've had the same struggle in a similar situation. Um, I think that one of the things you may have discovered about us is decks have a different meaning than porches. You might want to call this a porch since it's only 30, 30 inches high. Uh, you might relabel it a porch and make, make life a little easier for you. And All I right. think when you do come back, yes, show us where the planters are, and that'll help. Sure in the sections, and I think in the plan, that'll kind of help everybody understand what's going on. Um, one of the, 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 the story polls, and I appreciate the neighbor being here, you know, one of the struggles we have as a board is the issue of story polls, because story polls cost money. Uh, they're, not, they're not cheap. Every time we ask for a story poll system, they, they start at 2200 bucks or 1800 bucks or whatever, and they go up from there. So we're always a little bit reluctant to require an applicant to do story polls. Uh, I agree with Mr. Miller, and I think when Mr. Matisha may have said the same thing. I don't think we're in a situation where the view, and we're not here to guarantee people's private views. The city council has told that, told that to us on several occasions. But I think in general, you could be fairly assured that this is not going to inhibit your view even from your master bedroom. So I'm, I'm not uh, too inclined to, to make the owner put a story poll. They're certainly welcome to if they want to work that out with the neighbors. But I don't think that would be appropriate for the board to require. Um, 
I think that, yes, when you come back, we want to see a landscape plan. I think that's really helpful. And also, as you can see, kind of clarifying whatever fence design you're going to come up with around the pool. Absolutely. That'll, that'll be kind of helpful. Uh, and also, uh, if you're going to redo, change, or uh, reconfigure the driveway, particularly as it approaches the house, what the material might be, if you're going to change that or if it's going to remain the same, that would be helpful to know. And then certainly one of the things we'll want to look at is lighting locations on the exterior of the house uh, because that does have an effect on the neighborhood, uh, particularly at night. But given where you're going with this deep right. canopy overhang over a porch, that probably isn't going to be a big problem. Um, let's see. I think the colors that you're talking about are probably appropriate. Um, and I think, you know, as we get through the project, you'll be showing us details on faces and windows and columns, et cetera. So those are my comments. So if they have further comments, yes, Denise. Uh, yes, I, just out of curiosity, I, I want to get something square here about the neighbor. Um, yes. If he was... Is, are you under construction? Are you the house that's under construction directly to the side or you're further, two-story further back? Directly behind them, and we've been. So is he that, this one? That, that's the end okay, so so if you look at that and you you put it next to our the topo, he's not uphill from this house. He's not what? He's not uphill from this house. He's well, directly just, yeah. the topo goes this way, so he's practically on the same level as this house. Way above, way above us. Well, I'm, I'm above it. You're above yeah. it. I think. Excuse yeah. me. It, it doesn't. Me. It doesn't look like excuse it. Excuse me. I think when you come back, what will be very helpful is so you can give us the. Absolutely. A side section, a little right. doodle of the floor elevations separating the two. That'll kind of, I think, answer the question. That way we're not guessing. We get aerial trouble. Yeah, it's it's, it's, it's deceiving. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. because if you look at the I think if you climbing 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 slightly up there. I think if you provide that when it comes back, and then I would also, I would also encourage all the board members to go out and look at the site. That would be most helpful. Yes, Ms. Bernstein. I was just wondering, so what you're just suggesting he call a porch, not a deck, so... Right, because it's only a few feet. It, it's less than two feet, 30 inches off the ground. Okay. Yeah, okay. I admit I haven't been out to look at this, so it's yeah. easier once you I think seen if you go out, yeah. go out to the neighborhood and right. look at the context of where this house sits, then you'll kind of understand what's okay. going on. Okay. Uh, other comments? Okay, the chair would then look for a motion. This is here for comments only. So uh, if you want to make comments about making sure elevations are set and site section or whatever, when it comes back, who would like to make a motion? Uh, I'll give it a try. Okay. I moved. Uh, the board likes to make the following comments. Um, so Bernie's giving me a little cheat seat. You say fence. I'm not too clear what fence you're referring to. Fence around the, the swimming pool. pool. Okay, make sure there's a fence around the swimming pool. Good Clarify deal, that. Deal for it, yes. Uh, we would like to see a landscape plan. Uh, I'd like to see what the material of the driveway is. Um, uh, provide exterior lighting. Um, study possibly the proportions of the canopy over the front door, the porch there. Um, did I say color board? We'd like to see a color board. Oh, you, okay. So we feel the board that the color board is appropriate. Uh, uh, we recommend that the uh, standing metal seam be maximum of 12 inches on center. Um, and and uh, clarify. Are you, yeah, clarify the location of the planning walls. And that's it. Okay, that's the motion on the floor. Is there a second to that motion? Okay, is there further discussion? Um, are we That's continuing right. this? To oh, and continuing this, definitely. Definitely, because he has to definitely go for to, an environment. Oh, and uh, uh, also uh, clear, uh, detailing of your columns. I'd like yeah, to well, see. That was, okay. Yeah, okay. Is that acceptable to the seconder? Okay. Does the maker of the make motion want to suggest that the neighbors share whatever revisions there are or... Make sure the good neighbor guidelines get met. Yes, please abide by good neighbor guidelines. That always helps. Okay. Is that acceptable to the second of the motion? Yeah, that's part of the motion. And come back in two weeks or, um, or it, it depends on the on the 
Uh, we're, not, we're not. We're way off of that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, got to go for Okay, so I won't indefinitely. scratch that indefinitely. Yeah. Okay, that's part of the motion, Ms. Oh. Ring. Anything else? Yeah, one more thing. Go ahead. <laughs> Do we call and make the appointment when we want to come back? Uh, you'll resubmit plans to the counter. I also have um, some plan check comments for you. Okay, good. Okay, Ms. Bird. I guess so. With the new garage, we'll want to see the door. Yes. Okay. Right. That's the motion on the floor. Any further discussion? All in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed. Abstention. So carried. Okay. We'll Thank see you. you back here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Back to the back to Brian. Are you turning? Are you turning? Okay. Uh, we really being Excuse me. We still haven't adjourned yet. Still on the air. Okay. Uh, Mr. Ng, nothing else, correct? No. Okay. Cheryl then adjourned Monday, June 29th, Single Family Design Board. We're now adjourned.